Yes. Yeah. 100, or the 101 for yeah. that matter. Yep, because it's over the 100 level. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's excellent. Yes. Would a student being in ESL, would they be a 94 or 92 English second language? Uh, uh, 94. 94. Because they're international also? students. Okay. Thank you. Um, yes. So once they complete 92 or 94, then would they take 100 or then take the 101 and like just take it? Or is that not really matter for us? No, if they have to take the 92 or 94, then that means that they got this score. Yeah. So that 101 is no longer applicable to them, and they'll just go on to their GE composition. Okay. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. I want to loop back. What did you mean by ESL? English second language. Are you referring to our international students that come from ASL? I was just thinking of students who may have recently moved into the States, maybe okay. just within high school age. Okay. So it might not be completely dominant language. So what we can do with those, so like if we look on page 417, and we take a look at RWS 94. So you'll notice that it specifically says um, for non-native English speakers. So as long as, so it says for international or bilingual students. So as long as they fall into one of those categories, then 94 should be fine for them. If a student that is not bilingual or um, not international and they take, they sign up for 94 by accident, they will need to substitute that course and take 92 instead. Does that make sense? Yes. It just says, I was just reading it, it just says open only to ESL students who have not satisfied the SCSU writing competency. Oh, so there we go. There you go. So okay. it seems like if they satisfy it, then they don't. <coughs> it, but. Perfect. Thank you. Awesome. Any other questions? No? Okay. All right. So credit, so our, our native speakers. Um, our non our, our non international or non bilingual speakers will take the RWS 92 versus the 94, and credit in either 92 or 94 will satisfy the competency requirement in writing, and then the student will need to take the GE composition course the following semester. Any questions on that? Okay. Awesome. Okay. So this is important. There are timeline, there's a timeline associated with the competency in math and writing. So students have until the end of summer 2018 to fulfill their math and English competency requirements. This means that they have one year to earn credit in these remedial courses. It, it's going to be very important that these students that fall into this situation take that seriously because if they don't finish their competencies slash get credit in these courses within one year, then they will be academically, uh, administratively disqualified. Okay. So they have one year. Yes. So does that basically mean that they'll just have to be kicked out? Yes. They're administratively disqualified. Uh huh. Yeah. We we want it to sound a little a little fancier, but, but yes, that's essentially what it means. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions? Are we good on that? All right. Um, yes. If that were to happen to a student, or they get administratively qualified, would they have to reapply to the university? Most likely, but the students that you're going to be working with this summer, we're just going to make sure that they understand they have one year to fulfill these competencies. Um, and then if for some reason they don't, then they'll have to come in and to advise and talk about their possible options. Yeah, so it's just really important that they know that they have one year. Does that make sense? Yeah. Perfect. Any other questions? Okay. All right. So let's do some questions then. So Karen will be taking RWS 101 in the fall semester. So what was her score on the EBT placement exam? 148, that's correct. So does she satisfy the EBT? Yes. Yes, yes. but she has to take that RWS 101 specifically. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back over kind of um, 
do like a summary of all that. But before I do that, is there any questions? Okay. Okay. So to wrap it up, if the freshman competency requirements are not met by one of the ways listed on page, um, pages are they listed on? 86 and 87. So the SAT, the ACT, uh, college level course, the ELM, the EPT, then that student must take remediation courses and they will have required registration in them. For those that have satisfied the math and writing competencies by one of the ways listed in the catalog, they will still have required registration. That was a question over here. But their required registration is going to be in college level math and college level English. Students have up to one year, which includes summer, to get credit in the remedial courses to satisfy the ELM and or EPT. Uh, for the students that are placed into the remedial courses, they must complete these remediation requirements again within one year of enrollment. So first time freshmen will have until the end of summer 2018 to fulfill their remediation. Otherwise, they are administratively, administratively disqualified from SDSU and can no longer attend. Uh, In-state freshmen who need remediation will be required to begin at SDSU this summer, 2017, in the FAST program. Dates are to be announced. And out-of-state students are exempt from FAST. They will begin their remediation in the fall. And just to re-emphasize, at orientation, all new freshmen will receive a personal information sheet. Does anyone remember that from when they were freshmen at orientation? Yeah, some of you do. Um, so all new freshmen will receive a, a personal information sheet, which will have all this information detailed on that sheet. So the, the personal information sheets list all the required registration courses that the student needs in their first year. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, we cover the um, personal information sheets in Section 6, I believe. Okay. Any, any questions? Yes? Um, was there a difference if, like, for California residents for the FAST program, if they're local or not? Yeah, so if they're local, they'll attend here. Mm -hmm. And if they're not local, not in our direct area, then they'll go through the online FAST program. So they're still in the FAST program, they're just taking online courses. Any other questions? 